Me and Brendan are bowling. Trying to come up with what the name of the brand is going to be. This one's for you, Mom. I love you. Yeah, see, that wouldn't make sense, right? But you're not picking. <laughs> <laughs> but you. I yelled because I care. <laughs> it was not a normal day. It was PSAT day. A chance to practice SAT. Can't start the day in which to excel. Here's Ryan Ardo. I'm Daddy O. It's Wednesday morning. We're on our way to school. And um, we're going to make our football picks. If you guys don't know, we do this football pool where it's basically it's my dad's side of the family. And there are about seven, 16, 17 people that do it. And basically, you just pick who you, you think is going to win every NFL game for the week. And then whoever gets the most picks right wins. Guess who's in the lead? <laughs> oh, oh wait, no, 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 sorry. I did that. I meant me. Oh, that was uh, me for a second. I'm in the lead with 48 picks right. Nice. Right? Great. And you so, can win 100 bucks, right? Yeah, you can. So Ooh. everyone throws in $10. Now, if I paid for your entry fee, do I get a percentage of the winnings? Yeah, see, that wouldn't make sense, right? But you're not picking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, chuck you, I'll chuck you a little percentage. Chuck me? A little I'll percentage. I'll throw you a little percentage. Right. Um, anyway, we're going to start right now. But let me ask you this. Mom asked about the fields of okay. faith. Are there fields of faith going? What is that? Yeah, so uh, after school today uh, at 6.30, it's something called fields of faith. So we do it with FCA and a lot of the FCA schools in our uh, like district uh, or our county. And uh, basically, you go, you play games, and... Uh, talk with everyone and then there's some speakers uh usually like athletes or coaches that come and speak to you oh cool um who's coming i don't know yet but um it's gonna be really fun so it ends at 6 30 it starts at 6 30 ends at 8 it's right here um which is fun so all the you know people in our county are coming right here so uh cool yeah is it like right here yeah i think so it's either gonna be in the cafeteria or depending um, on the weather yeah, depending on whether so you can be in the cafeteria or on the actual field. Nice, that's yeah. great. Hey, uh, so mom and I are doing this thing with Patreon uh, tonight. So I mm -hmm. think we start at seven. Okay. I think we start at seven. So, and you start at seven, right? So I'll drop you off, and then um, somehow you gotta get home. <laughs> gotcha. Because we're, we're gonna be at. I'll find. I think way. it's about a half hour. Okay. So if we're late, we're talking with our Patreon peeps. All right. That we love very much. So we're hanging with them. Nice. I like it. Get a chance. It's the Donnelly's at Patreon. Give it a run. I like it. So is that is that a weekly thing? I think it's a monthly thing. A monthly thing? Um, uh, like once a month you just hop on? That's a good question for mom, yeah. Say what's yeah. up to the people. I love yeah. it. Yeah. We just hook up and talk and kind of give them the behind the scenes. and the. I love it because there's a lot of stuff that is going on. So. Yes. That's amazing. It'll be fun. Okay. 411. Right. Back in the day when you had like regular phones, like mm -hmm. that attached to the wall and had wires. If you hit 411, it was information. So the operator would come on and say, 411 information, can I help you? Oh. And you'd say, um, it's, it was like the original Google. Nice. <laughs> nice. But they would only give you a phone number. Like, I'm trying to get a hold of the Democrat and Chronicle. Oh, okay. Here's the number. Nice. Right? Yeah. So now 411 for folks my age is like a slang for information information i like it like, give me the 411 <laughs> okay, right? yeah so try that out today with your peeps and see, and see if they know what that is see if they know yeah i think they're just gonna look at me like i'm crazy <laughs> hey you get, you get the 411 you get the 411 oh, what right no come on <laughs> right what are you doing all right bud love you all right thank you see you then thank you teacher love you too all right good luck Mm -hmm. Love that kid. I'm having a little snack, pardon me, a little trail mix. I'm going to sit right down next to Eddie. All right, you guys, I just got off the phone. Hello. I just got off the phone with my partner who has become my friend. Her name is Holiday. She is working with us on creating our brand, um, the lifestyle brand that we are working on. And it has been so much fun. I should take my little things out because I was on a Zoom call. Here we go. We had the pleasure today of taking all of your feedback and the three words that you also 
graciously and beautifully wrote on our video last week and putting them together and trying to come up with what the name of the brand is going to be. So you're a huge integral part of that and I, I can't even tell you how um, blessed I feel to read those words. I need to go back and respond to everybody individually. Just that when we did that, then we went away and then we came back and I haven't done that yet. But in the case that I don't, I want to thank each one of you for sharing with us um, the way you feel about um, our little relationship here. <laughs> thank you so, so much. And it really is um, very, very, very touching. So we did a lot of work with that today and we're taking all that information and incorporating it and coming um, hopefully up with some really good names for the brand that really emulate what the brand is all about and um, and the goals that we have and what we're trying to achieve. So that was really fun. I am so full of energy now because after you have a call like that, you're like, woo! Ryan just got home from school, so we're gonna wait to hear from him about the PSATs and how that did. And tonight is our first Patreon live stream. So if you guys are on Patreon, so excited to live stream with you. If you're not, you wanna see what that's all about. Um, We'll share a little bit just to give an idea. I don't know. There's so much going on in my head right now. It's all very jumbled because there's just so much going on and it's super duper fun. I just talked to Katie. Oh my gosh. She just had the best circus practice. She is over the moon. She loves, loves, loves circus. So she has to practice twice a day on certain days and she went to practice. She's coming back, taking a shower, going back to practice, then tonight going bowling with Brennan. So um, her first practice today was with the, um, the Russian bar and she said it was amazing she's she has to do three or gets to do three sequences of the jumps and she's already learned the first two and she's working on the third one so um the problem is that she doesn't comp she doesn't perform until april so i have to wait six months to see her perform so anyway i guess there'll be a lot of practice going on and then she goes back tonight for another practice so it was great to talk with her and i hope that she and brendan have a good time when they're bowling today but we're gonna say goodbye right now I gotta go back to work and edit a video so we, you guys can see a video today. Yay, we can share. Say bye, Alice. Say bye. What happened, Mikey Mike? Well, I think it was not intentional, so I didn't yell. <laughs> Although I prefer to yell. Yes, you do. It's cathartic for me. <laughs> Apparently yelling is not good. It's not good. Not good for the yellow. Being half e. uh, being half Italian, half Irish oh. for yellers. You um, have to exercise a lot of restraint and patience because your DNA says yell. Yes. And get mad. Yes. And be a hothead. Yes. But you... I yell because I care. <laughs> <laughs> We scare because we care. <laughs> Very funny. So, so what happened? Uh, Ryan, happened? I think. Um, I think Ryan did it. Well, he's the only guy that. Well, Brennan has golf clubs. Uh, clubs in the back car. Then they put the sandy chair on the top here, and put um, a couple nice scratches in there too. Yeah. So. You know, it's what happens. Yeah. Bumps me out though. Yeah. Okay. I have to have a nice car once, just once in my life. Mm-hmm. It is. It's beautiful. So you guys, Mike doesn't have the Mercedes anymore. He used to drive that. It died. It was old. It was probably, how, what was the age of that? Huh. It was uh, an 08. An 08, a 2008. <laughs> yeah. So he bought it maybe in 2012 or something. Yeah, we maybe until even, the wheels fell off. We drove, <laughs> literally drove it till the wheels fell off. I mean, it was, it lasted, but it was a while. Yeah. So then he got this when, uh, right before he moved down here, kind of, right? Sort of? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you should be. It's a nice car. I like it. Thank you, it sure. rides very well. It's a Honda Accord. Yes. It's a touring jump. Oh, it's a touring. Yeah, the touring version. Yes, very nice. Our tip to you, save a little bit of money. Don't buy a brand new car. We've never, ever once purchased a brand new car, have we? No. Never purchased a brand new car. Because apparently they say, I don't know if this is true or not, when you drive it off the lot, it loses like 10% of its value already. So... That's one of our, if you guys are looking for money saving tips, that's one of ours. <laughs> Ryan is upstairs. I gotta be quiet. He's having his, um, every Wednesday he works with his tutor. It's the same tutor that we had in, in Maryland and they always did it virtually. So he still gets to use her down here, which is amazing. She's really, really good at math. And um, he just likes to work with her every Wednesday. So he knows exactly what's going on in class. It's like a, like a, um, what do you call it? A supplemental, you know, to his regular math. So that's good. Holy smokes. Hey guys. 
Uh, I am back from school now, and uh, it is about six o'clock. We're going over to the high school for something called Fields of Faith. Actually, we told you about it this morning. It's an FCA thing. Can't wait for it. Uh, anyway, I want to tell you guys about what I did at school today. It was not a normal day. It was PSAT day, which stands for Practice SAT. If you're, that's not a thing in other countries. Is it? It's just US. I think it's just US. So if you don't know what SAT is, this test you take in high school it stands for Scholastic Aptitude <laughs> Test. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, I thought that S was for standardized or something. Mm -hmm. But um, it's a test you take in high school. Uh, a lot of colleges look at it. Sometimes you have to take it to graduate. I think I'm honestly I'm not too educated on. But a lot of colleges look at it. Um, a lot of scholarship opportunities are dependent on the score you get. It's a huge test. There's hu whole things to prepare for it. Uh, and it's very long. So we went and took the, there's a practice test for it. And it is very official. Like I walked into school today, not a lot of people come. Like it's a very popular skip day because <laughs> so many teachers are just working on the test that you don't do anything in class, like when you're not taking it. Anyway, so uh, you, you go in, it takes like 20 minutes for them to actually start the test because you have to like turn off your phone fully, put it in your backpack. They have to read this whole paragraph of directions. And then the actual test is timed. And I forgot it was timed until after the first section when he was like, all right, you stop the first section, go on to the second. And I was like, uh-oh. Uh -oh. And I wasn't fully done the first section. I was like, oh, shoot. And then, um, so it's a timed test. I had to like pick up the pace. So it was half reading, half math. I forgot a calculator too, uh. which is like the biggest no-no. You're always supposed to have a calculator for the SAT. And, um, That's the way we learn. Exactly. It was just the practice one, though. So it doesn't really matter. But um, it was a very official thing. It was very boring. It took like, it was from like, it was like a three, four hour wow. deal. It was really, it was rough. What happens if they had to go to that room? You can go, but there's only one person allowed out of the room at a time. Like, you can't bring your phone, and you're only allowed like five minutes to go to that room. Hmm. Can so, you study while you're in the. Yeah, after? right? Just, Think a, little, think a little bit. And you're allowed like five minute breaks in between sections. So there's four sections, little five minute breaks, but it was whatever. And then the rest of the day, we didn't really do anything. We just kind of sat in class because teachers didn't prepare anything. Here's the worst thing about, you know, what we were talking about this. <clears throat> worst thing about those tests is like, you, you finally get rolling, you think, okay, I'm doing okay. And then you're about like less than halfway through and somebody next to you like stands up and hands in their papers like, what? <laughs> that is, the worst feeling, and I know you all have experienced it, unless you're the person that's turning it in right. so early. But yeah, like, not like, I'm not looking at the kid next to me, but you know, he'll be bubbling down answers. Because <laughs> I can see when he goes over the bubble sheet, right? Huh? Like out of my peripheral, and I'm like, geez, wow. I'm getting like a question down a minute, maybe. I'm being this kid's, <laughs> this kid's rolling. And I'm like, that, what, am I missing something? That's a terrible feeling. But yeah, it is. It is really terrible. But, is that I'm a I'm a slow eater and I'm a slow test taker. Mm -hmm. That just means I enjoy my time eating and I'm cautious when taking. Yes, yeah, you're more thorough. Exactly. So, um, yeah, that's. Uh, well, that's the feeling. Don't let it bother program. you. If that happens to you, don't don't let it bother you. Just keep your head right. Exactly. I don't know when the actual SAT is, but uh, definitely gonna do a lot of prep for it. I'm glad I know what it's on now. And the thing that's so special about the SAT is it's just a lot of stuff combined into one. Like the math section, for example covers all the way back to like it's just a lot of the stuff you've learned in high school up until that point yeah uh and you take it when you're a junior so uh it's it's just a, it's a lot of stuff and they word it really weirdly like they'll put some word problems in there that like completely mess you up so it's really hard to score high on it but if you do college is you know is huge anyway you don't out to the lumber yard. Better luck next time. Actually, you can take it multiple times, but it's also really sus. Like, if I'm a college, I'm looking at a kid, oh, he got a good score, but he took it like 17 times. You know, it's, you know, you, no, you can cautious. take it as many times as you want. Well, yeah, but still, if you're in college and you're looking at it, it's like. No, they don't even know how many times you took it. They don't know how many times you took it? I don't think so. Oh. I'll have to ask somebody. I'm about to take an SAT a day. There you go, why not? <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna go to Fields of Faith and enjoy this uh, when I get back. I did some math homework. I get back, I have some uh, A-push homework, and then... Here's the great thing. Isn't it nice? First you work, then you play, right? Yeah, totally. It's so much better, first you work, then you play, because when you, now you can go, you can take some... Yeah. Some triumph in it. Yes. Totally. Yes. Uh, and then... If you're playing first, then it's like, oh, I gotta go work. Yeah. Like, oh, you can't even enjoy yourself. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? 
Uh, tomorrow I have a, um, I think I'm gonna golf tomorrow and do some homework. And then Friday I'm hitting the gym in the morning with Trevor. Uh, so that should be fun. Pump you up. <laughs> I'm gonna try it again. Pump you up. What is that? That is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Ah, uh, that guy does everything. <laughs> To the chopper. <laughs> All right, what is it? Boom, firepower. Boom, what is that? bam, firepower. Oh. And uh, and uh, Night at the Museum, the second one. Awesome, great movie. Is that one done at the Smithsonian? Yeah, that's the Smithsonian. That's then, the second one. Yeah, in DC. Got it. I have um, to watch that again. Yeah, totally. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yes. it is. All right, here we go, Jilly. You guys ready? Ah, here we go. Nervous? Uh, no, I'm very excited. Okay. I'm, I'm nervous I'm not going to be on time. we got three minutes. All right, let's go. I am very excited, you guys. This is our first um, live stream on Patreon, so um, we'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. I'm going to go downstairs. Okay, bye. <laughs> Well, yes, how to make families happy. Exactly. Or angry dads. Angry dads. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go there? Can I say that we quartered the market on that? Is that, <laughs> is that mean? Why are you so angry dads? <laughs> what? That, now that is a new thing. Angry dads. Yes, well, maybe, maybe, you can, can... maybe you can have a little semi brand inside that's like angry dads. Yes, if Why you is have Mike an so angry mad? dad, maybe we <laughs> Hey mom. I'm eating um, Panda Express. Me and Brendan are rolling. We're not very good. This one's for you, mom. I love you. To an event where they were giving out Chick fil A, dad dropped him yeah, off. I don't know if um, you guys saw this, but dad said, Bring me back a box of Chick fil A if you can. Which he always says, <laughs> What does he say when you go to a yeah, birthday party? Like a cupcake, birthday party, like a green bag of cupcake, or like a piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> it never works. Well, it works a lot, actually, and you, because um, you've trained us to do such a thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it was really fun. We all got, um, we went to the football stadium and then talked to us and we like played some games and stuff and sang songs. Good experience. Good. How many people were there, would you say? 30, 40. Oh, good. Mm, okay. Yeah. Excellent. Like me, Maddie, Savannah, Trevor, Tony, Sid, Sid the Squid. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was fun. Great. Excellent. Anyway, right. um, we had pork chops, baked bean, and salad. Did you? There's some left over if you want some. No. Okay. I like Chick fil A, he says. Nice. Um, yeah, so it was overall very fun, and uh, I can't wait for the banquet. 
Yes. Yeah, that's, that's not FCA, but you sort of know. Yes. Anyway, we're starting to devise plans for weekend camp. Which is gonna be oh, fun. that will be so fun. Ryan's going yeah. to a camp in a couple weekends. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Anyway. Um, Do you know that the uh, Cavaliers are, what are the name? The Capitals are playing right now. The Caps are playing right now. Yeah. Yeah. They're down one, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Because we're still going to wipe the Bruins. Excellent. All right, you guys, you want to share what made you happy today? We're going to wrap up this vlog. What made you happy today, my guy? What made me happy today is uh, finishing the PSAT. The feeling when you're done with that is amazing. And then uh, going and talking with my friends. Uh, and Trevor gave me a ride home. And uh, rides in the car with Trevor are always special. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Excellent. There was all my little chances. Fantastic. What made you happy today, right, Michael? Well, thanks for happening. Um, happening. Thanks for asking. Uh huh. Uh, what made me happy today was the awesome um, Patreon meetup that we did. Fantastic. Fun. Yes. And your chocolate chip cookie. Well, that too. <laughs> Excellent. All right, you guys, what made me happy today was um, several things. I had a great conversation. I think I told you about it with. Uh, um, with my friend and uh, who's who's putting together, helping us put together our lifestyle brand. I'm so jazzed about that. I have so many fun ideas. And then also we had a live stream this evening. It was really fun to do that and get some ideas from oh, our friends on there. I'm allowed to say that. You can that. copy me. Yes, I can. You can? Yeah. Check the rules. Yeah, I make the rules. <laughs> this, is, this is my gig. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm very happy that Ryan had such a good day. And I can't wait to talk to him about the PSATs. I know he talked to Mike about it in the car, but I can't wait to hear about how it went. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Comment down below. It made you guys happy today. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye. For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.